speaks as she signs so I can understand. As I observe the congregation, I wonder where they would all be on a Sunday like this, but for one man, Reverend Reuben Wooney, who started the death ministry at the Church of Pentecost. So far, he set up four main branches and was recently ordained the first deaf pastor of the church after 27 years of preaching to members of the deaf community. His wife interprets for him at all meetings with those who can sign. When I was young, at a very tender age, I was in a Sunday school. I go to Sunday school. When I became deaf, then I started going to the deaf school. From there, I saw that there was no church. We have a lot of deaf people in Ghana, but there was no church. So I decided to um, start the deaf ministry. It's just like a classroom setting as he delivers his sermon on love. There's a whiteboard with the title, scripture references and other details. He encourages his members to love one another. In this church, members have an opportunity to ask questions. It's very interactive. After 30 minutes, the sermon ends. The tithes and offerings are taken and the grace is said. It's been a message on love here today, but as members of this assembly move out into their various communities, do they feel loved by a society and its members like myself who know very little about how to communicate with them or even provide services tailored to their needs? Sitting in the church and watching members sign in prayer, praise and worship